Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to go over how to create a box shape using the Create Shapes utility in Pointwise. So if you go to Create Draw Shapes Box, you'll enter this mode where you can draw a box shape. And to draw a box, you're going to start by defining the two corner points of the base face of that box. And you can do so either interactively in the uh, display window or from the point placement frame, you can explicitly type in the XYZ values of those points. I'm going to go ahead and create this shape interactively. And I'll start by picking two points in the display window to create that base face. And I can change the width and height of that base face if I want to. I could even click OK and accept this and I'll get this rectangular shape object that I could then work with. But let's go ahead and give it some depth by just rotating it around. I can grab these control handles and change the length of this to create a three dimensional object. I can also continue to change the width and height of this shape. I can come over to the shape parameters frame and explicitly type in values for width, height and length if I wanted to. Additionally, I can unlock the top to make it independent of the base. And what that means is if I uncheck that, I can explicitly define the top width and height or interactively change the top width and height, again, independently of the base. And so you can do things like, for example, create a pyramid shape. If I click lock top, it'll go ahead and set both the base and top face to be the same dimensions. In the shape options frame, I can create either a full box, half box, or quarter, and I can change the sides, base, and top to be open if I wanted to rather than planar. If I flip those back to planar, you can see it goes ahead and closes off that shape. And I'll click full again to get the full box. And that's how you go ahead and create a box shape in Pointwise. Great for creating things like far fields for your applications. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.